hi everyone welcome back again to my channel so in this video we're going to be drafting a female pant or trouser i'll be using a white a plain fabric to draft it instead of a pattern paper this is a requested video so before we start these are the measurements we need the waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 and this is 9 which is 9 inches waist to hip is 8 inches the distance between the waist and the hip is 8 inches hip measurement is 46 inches divided by 4 which is 11 and a half inches the cross length is 11 and a half inches to get your cross length you divide your hip by 4 so hip this is hip measurement 46 inches divided by 4 which is 11 and a half inches and the tie measurement is 28 inches you divide it by 2 which is 14 inches from waist to knee is 24 inches and this is the circumference 21 inches the ankle measurement is 42 inches that's the length and the circumference is 17 inches so this is the full length 42 inches plus two and a half inches for folding so let's get to it so before we start this tutorial you will need your pattern paper marker um ruler I have two different types of ruler here. This is the curve ruler and the straight ruler and your scissors. So we'll start by taking the full length. So I will start here. I'll just mark one inch here to have a very neat uh, edge here. So I will take my length, my full length. The full length is 42 inches. Then I'll minus one inch for waistband. So I'll be adding one inch waistband. Or minus one inch for waistband then so I'll be left with 41 inches I'll we'll take my 41 inches here I will add two inches for folding so two inches for folding so I'll draw the horizontal line that is for the length and this is for the folding. So we'll go ahead and place the measurement. First, I will take the crotch length. The crotch length is 11 and a half inches. So I will take my 11 and a half inches and I will minus one inch for waistband. So I will have 10 and a half inches. This is the crotch length. So I will mark 10 and a half inches on this side as well. So I'll mark, I will make a line here. So on the cross lines I marked, on this line here, I will place the hip measurement. The hip measurement is 11 and a half inches. So I'll place 11 and a half inches here. And I will draw a line. I will draw this line up. And on this line, I will take my tie measurement. So the tie measurement is 28 inches divided by 2, which is 14 inches. So this is 14 inches. This is the line I place here. This line here is 14 inches. You mark this line here. And from waist to to hip is 8 inches. I'll just put a dot here. Waist to hip is 8 inches. Now place a dot here also 8 inches. That's the hip line. This is the hip line, the hip measurement, 11 and a half inches. And this one here is 14 inches for the tie measurement. The tie measurement is 28 inches divided by 2, which is 14 inches. So I will now make a curve here. Right from the hip line, from waist to hip is 8 inches. After minusing the 1 inch for the waistband, so I place my 8 inches here. Then you take it, you curve it right like so. So right from here, I will look for the midpoint. So this is 14 inches. The midpoint is 7 inches. Mark it all the way down. So I will draw the line here. So 
So this line I draw will give me a guideline. From waist to knee is 24 inches. I'll minus 1 inch for waistband. So that is 23 inches. So now I'll mark my 23 inches here. This point here. So here I will place my knee measurement. The knee measurement is 22 inches. Divide by 2, which is um, 11 inches. Because I don't want it too tight. You measure yourself. Take your measurement before you start placing the measurement on it. So you take half of the 11 inches, you put your half of your 11 inches here, and put half of the 11 inches here. So half of 11 inches is 5.5. .5. And I will take my half here. I will do the same thing to the ankle. The ankle circumference is 18 inches. 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches. Half of the 9 inches will go on this side and half will go on this side. 4 and half is half of the 9 inches. So here I will mark my, take my mark here. And I will mark here. Put it in mind that I'm not adding any um, seam allowance to the front panel. The seam allowance will be added to the back panel. So I will go ahead and connect the line with my curve ruler. So I will take it from the crotch line to the tie. Then I will take it to the ankle measurement. So I will go to the side also. This place needs to be curved, it don't need to be straight right from here. So I will take it, you turn your ruler. I turn my ruler like so on this side. So you go this side and turn your curve ruler like so. You take it right from the crotch point here to meet the new circumference. So from there, I will take it to meet the ankle. So this is the length. So I will come this side also and place the waist measurement. So I will take my waist measurement, then I will add the dart allowance to it. You can add mm, zip allowance to it if you like. Waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4, which is 9 inches. I will add 1 inch for that, that is 10 inches. So from here I will draw a line to meet the hip line. So remember the hip line, the dot I marked here, this is the hip measurement. So I'll take it there. To me the crotch length. So this is the front one. I'll be cutting this out, then use the front panel to cut out the back one. So I'm cutting out the front panel. So for the front panel, this midpoint, you can just take it upwards. So you take this midpoint, take it upwards. That will determine where you will insert your that. So after you draw the line upwards, then you take your dart measurement. I will take half inch on this side and take half inch on this side. So I will take five inches for the length of the dart. And I will take the half inch, connect it here, and also connect the half inch on this side. I've cut out the front panel. I'll bring this down a little bit. So I lay the front one against the back side. So on the crotch length here, I will add three inches here. 
So I will extend it. I will add three inches. Then here I will take two inches. Let me bring it down for you guys to see very well. So on this side, I will mark either one and a half inch or two inches upwards here. So I'm taking two inches just for your bone to sit very well on it. So I will take two inches here on the side here. So I will draw the line here. At the waistline here, remember I extended it 2 inches upwards. So the back is always like that. Is that you extend 2 inches or 3 inches depending on how big your hip is. I draw a line here, connect it to meet this waistline here by the side here. See? This is the two inches I con I extended two inches upwards. Then I connect it to meet this waistline by the side here. And on this side, you will still make a curve here. The crotch you make a curve here. So this is the two inches I marked out on this side, and I've curved the crotch length. So on this side here, we add two inches. At the side here, add two inches. Take it all the way down. So I'll still connect the lines. As you can see, the back one is, is very easy to, to make once you've gotten the front one. The back one is very easy to make. So I will go ahead and uh, cut out the, the back one. So I will make my dot here. So I'm cutting the back panel out. I finished cutting out the back one, so I will separate them now. That's the front one, and this is the back one. I'm still mark all the lines I marked on the front one. I'll go to the crotch line and look for the midpoint. Now look for the midpoint of 17 inches. It's eight and a half inches. So I'll draw the line here. So I will still take this line upwards in order to get the that line. And I will take half inch on this side and half inch on this side for the dart. Five inches for the dart length. So guys, we're true with the pattern drafting. Here is the finished look. This is the front and this is the back. Yeah, so in future, we'll be using this pattern draft to make different types of jumpsuits and pants. So that's it for today. I will see you on my next one. Subscribe to my channel if this is your first time of watching my video. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I will see you on my next one. I love you. Bye.